So these are actually pretty cool, note blocks. Basically, if you just can't bring yourself to use keynotes, do this. We'll need to make an annotation symbol, then create the note block. So to get started, let's jump into Revit. Under Families, let's go New. Let's go to Annotation. Let's go to Generic Annotation. And then we'll click Open. Zoom in here and let's delete this little note. On the Create tab, go ahead and click Label. I'm going to drop this little stinker right here. Now there's no parameters in here, but we can make one. Let's click on Add Parameter. For the name, I'm going to call it Note Number. The type of parameter is going to be text. I'm going to make it an instance parameter. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to add that in. For my sample value, I'm going to put in two zeros just to make it look right. I'd like to make another parameter. I'm going to click Add Parameter. And I'm going to call it Notes Text. The type of parameter will be text. We'll group it under text. And we'll also make this an instance parameter. I'm going to click OK. Although I'm not bringing this parameter in, it's still going to be available when I load it into the project. Let's click OK. We've got double aught. I'm going to select it and pull it in a little bit. I'm not sure if that's lined up perfectly or not, but what I'm going to do is put a circle in here. So I'll go to Create, Line. I'll just throw in a circle. I'll make it an eighth of an inch. Hit Escape and let's save it. I'm going to call it Note Block. Under Options, I like to back it down to one so I don't have all those sloppy backups kicking around. I'm going to hit Save. Now I'm going to go to my File tab. I'm going to go Open. I'm going to find Architectural Note Block and open that up. I'm going to hit Control Tab, and I'm going to load into Project and Close. Hit Escape a couple of times. Go down to Level 1 East. I'll find a good place to put a note block in here. I'll come into Office. 111. I'm going to go to Annotate. I'll grab Symbol. The problem is I can't leader it in. So I'm going to pick a point like right here. Now I'm going to create a note block. I'm going to go to View, Schedules, Note Block. Now, here's how the annotation families I have in my. Here are the annotations I have in my project. I'm going to grab note block and hit OK. Notice that note number and note text are both available. Add those. I'm going to click OK. Now, what I'm going to do, if I click into here, now, I've got my little schedule. I'm going to close out of it. I'm going to go to Annotate, and I'm going to click Symbol. I'm just going to put one like right here. 
hit escape. Now notice that I have my parameters. My note number will be one. My note text will be keep wall. I'm gonna hit apply. Now I can select it and I can add a leader, but now I gotta go chase it. I don't care for the fact there's no arrowhead, so I'm gonna click edit type. For my leader arrowhead, I'm gonna go arrow filled 15 degrees, hit apply, hit okay. Select my note, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna change this to note number two. Say demolish wall, demolish wall wall. I'm gonna say demolish wall, hit apply. Now I'm going to go to whatever sheet I want this on. It's going to be A101 first floor plan area A. I'm going to grab my note block and drag it onto here. And here we have the note block. I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to get rid of my header. So I'll go to appearance. I just want to uncheck show headers. Hit OK. Cat blocks. I'll call it sequencing notes. All caps. I'll call it sequencing notes. Now I can snug that up nice, close out of here, kind of cool. One thing is though, if you want to get rid of the note and the symbol, you have to physically delete it from the schedule.